People say time is like a river, but it's more like an ocean in the storm. Either way, we cannot control how it flows. All we can do is save some. So I built this keyboard which enables me to cut down repetitive workflow. Oh, well, I don't know why am I speaking so cinematic. For example, here I can select and unlink my footage just by smashing the space bar two times. Or I can go to my hardcore music folder by a single or I can apply those sound effects to my timeline just by a click of a... Well, you might be asking how it even works. But before that, let's answer where it actually started. April 7, 2016. A video gets uploaded on YouTube. Taran, the macro king himself. He came up with the concept of automating cursor and keystrokes, all triggered by a single press of a button using auto hotkey and Lua macros. A one hell of a personal project. Not for everybody, but... But if you are a productivity freak like me, the concept might really appeal to you. That's what he said. Basically. Normally, if you plug three keyboards in your PC and press the same key, it gets recognized as the same key input by Windows, but not by this piece of software called HID Macros. This racist software determines which signal is from which cat keyboard precisely and allows you to put a separate accent for it. In other terms, it converts that key as a macro for free, like a free stream deck. Here basically in my build, I use it to execute mainly three types of tasks. One, to access my frequent folders. Two, to execute any any keystroke or key sequence and C running Python script, which I reverse engineered using ChatGPT. I'm neither a coder or a proper editor. I'm just a kid who got lost three years ago amidst suffocation and reality. Well, that's getting dark. Well, Crane, haven't you made two videos before stating the same thing? This time, I think I did a little too much of an insanity. Came up with this editing keyboard 3.0, so I had to explain it from the scratch. So if you haven't watched those two videos, still can keep up with the concept. Look, man, I'm trying to hold <sighs> myself tight as far as possible. Otherwise, it will soon be look like a rocket science video, even though it's not. I love overcomplicating small things. That's why my life is a misery. You know what I mean? Well, how can you do it? Well, this way. Having a spare separate keyboard is always better. This works with any cheap membrane keyboard you, you have you know, lying somewhere or just you can buy one. But for me, I use this another mechanical good. keyboard to get out. First, get HID macros from here. Just download and run as admin and you're good to go. Now, let's make a macro to access my this very secret folder. So how we do it? First, make a shortcut of it and go to the properties of it. Then copy these paths like this. Then you come to HID macros, create a new macro, scan the key, whatever you want to put, then go to run application here in this bar and just paste whatever you copied there and boom, you just minimize it. It will work. The macro will work. Look at this Acer mod. Bad word. Acer bro. Maybe like, uh, whatever the key sequence. So normally the hotkey is control alt L. Now here, to input the control alt, you just control is this thing, alt is this thing, and L is this hit. So you just and scan the key you want to assign, and you're done. You can do it with the color tab, like shift 4, shift 3, shift 2. You know, let's answer your curiosity. How do I do all these automated tasks? I know nobody asked, but I just want to say it because I have no one to talk. So guess what? Well, I run all these automated tasks using my Python scripts. Now, they are not the traditional scripts you can find on YouTube. Hey, 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 hey. Let me explain. This is an iceberg. I know you guys all know. Now, this is under the iceberg. Okay, now the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, aka DaVinci Resolve Studio version, gives you API access and that allows you to come and script inside of the software, and that's what 99% people does. Meaning that imagine like a like a like a wall hack, you're just running to just get your things done, right? So if you're one of them, then you just combine that with HID macros and you can absolutely dominate it. But just like the other people, I use the free version of DaVinci Resolve, so I code above the iceberg. Meaning that, imagine I made a mechanical robot who actually can move my mouse and do the tasks from outside, like a like human replacement, right? So that's what the concept is. Look, first, I thought I'm gonna make this video a full step-by-step -step breakdown guide, but the script went too long that I had to cancel it. Even after that, if you need a step-by-step -step guide, 
just leave me a comment uh, so the other day i was having an issue to find the exact font every single time it was annoying it was just weird so guess what i came up with a simple code that actually types the name of the font and hits enter it's a very simple idea the crack hit idea so every time i just lick the font and then hit the button it's automatically search the name of the font and hit enter and then font gets applied without me having brain seizures and brain disease eye disease to find the font among these many fonts so unlike taran here i achieved this whole thing this automation using pi auto gui module combined with hid macros instead of auto hotkey if you watched my previous two videos you already know this is what i did right but the problem was if this get pressed unintentionally while you are not editing but the hid macros is on that might lead to some unnecessary consequences so I was like, okay, I want this to run only when the Avenger Resolve is running. But I don't know how to make this code do that because I'm not a coder. So guess what? I went to ChatGPT and I asked, like, write me a Python code that detects the Vinci Resolve is in that detects if the da Vinci if the Vinci is if you think that okay it, it gives exactly accurate result just one search no it doesn't it just doesn't so I, I literally reverse engineered that code to learn the code and implement import this module in my every single code what I'm gonna write staple the code in in here all this move mouse and move stuff you know that's why this code have three modules searching accent the Vinci recognition and normal work so it first checks if the Vinci resolve is running or not if it's running it triggers the search module if not it triggers the normal work of the key what is assigned for that key in this case it's pressing the slash basically jesse gave this normal work module idea to me when i was showing my prototype in the stream page. so you package this code in .pyw file and assign it to a key inside of hid macros and add the code as an application browse this pyw file and it's ready to be triggered by a single press of a key now you can download all my code from the description but just as i said if you want a proper guide if you want a step-by-step -step guide how to write it or how to make my code work for yourself just stop me a comment you know i'll, I'll try now my next favorite satisfying thing i implemented on this keyboard is here i press one key and it changes the label color of the clip well i know yeah you could do it manually it just doesn't take much of a thing but uh my eyes were frying kind of but so well this code also have three modules and the logic is pretty same but how this whole process works is i use the image detection module of hiata gui and i have given him that clip color dot png a screenshot of it and also the color what i want to you know apply there so, so you you have to put the cursor over the clip you want to change the label color off and then it performs a right click detects clip color png in that specific region i did a little bit of tuning there and and it goes there clicks on it and then it detects the color and then it goes clicks there and that's how it gets applied in a fraction of a second now let me show you the most mind freaking but satisfying achievement of this little project of mine i mean look i might be mentally broken useless shouldn't have born should have killed myself but i used to dream about this thing to achieve before i actually did it i don't know just this is an awesome achievement for me even though it's just maybe a tiny achievement so imagine a scenario oh i want a scope sound effect in this part of the timeline so the most popular workflow is you make a power bin for all your sound effects and you just go there search drag and drop that that's the normal workflow which takes not only your time but your sanity to even type and actually find it i mean i don't know maybe i'm lazy so i came up with the most cracked idea so here i wrote a piece of code that first detects this power bin then clicks the master bin then it will click precisely on the coordinate where the search icon is and then it will type the name of the sound effect i want and then it will move the cursor to this point where the search result will appear it will lock its left click and drag it all the way where the mouse was and here's the most satisfying part it will wait for me to put it where i want to put it and then as soon as i'm gonna left click it will go back to the search bar and close everything that been searched so then next time i'm gonna search it it's just gonna be you know clean as slate in a fraction of a second my voice is gone but here's the demonstration i press the button got it in my hand drop it done
So this code have multiple modules. One module that finds that sound effect and drags it to your cursor. Second module is what actually detects your left click. That whenever you're gonna do the left click, it will trigger the third module, which actually goes back to the search icon and clears the search bar and comes back to your thing. The normal Da Vinci recognition and the normal work. And lo logic is pretty same. It, that was the most easiest way I could have possibly said that. You know, it was not easy. I, I went through experiments after experiments. Oh shit. Fucked. Uh, literally, I crashed. I'm like, why? the code crash look at this Caesar B what is this uh, N I forgot to say I went through starvation and then come up with this human code which apparently feels nothing maybe to a professional coder though it, it was easy but I don't know for me it was something special it took me days to come up with it and make it work apart from it I have this small type of uh, couple accents I coded uh, I have a key to decrease volume so the idea is you move your cursor to the clip until it turns like this and then you just trigger the key and then it just will it will specifically drag three pixel down or five pixel down and it will specifically like uh decrease a certain amount of volume but that that, that thing depends on how thick the layer is uh okay so uh, uh so uh I'm sorry uh so meaning okay so so when when uh look i did a i did a whole experiment observation chart to reverse engineer and come up with the mathematical relation between the layer thickness and how many pixels you gotta drag and how much decibel change it gonna leave the the the, dot, the data set is pretty fucked so i put three pixel and five pixel down hey 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 yeah hey, hey. I got another key to drag adjustment layer on the timeline like the same concept. Just as life, every process is tragic. Nothing is ideal. Nothing is flawless. Flawless is a fix and imperfection makes us whole. Oh well, I just fit out a line from Ground Zero Parkway Drive song. So while PC is running, if you plug your keyboard out, it might get recognized as a different keyboard even though you put it back in the same port in your PC. Good things, there is a move macros option bad things i don't know how it works or does it even works it's very rare to happen like that but i don't know hid macros have a severe beef with one note if one note is running in the background it sometimes starts glitch out of nowhere i don't know why uh, so at last along with all this coding i threw out all my premiere pro keycaps i i, I had i didn't use and i just redesigned my own keycaps like specifically this. for this you know the winch result because it's awesome so again if you want to know how to write this code from scratch or you want to use this code just ask me and i'll make a hopeful diy guide you know not gonna lie this at some point feels useless to share because it's like you know i don't know you never know i don't know i i just thought to share this project of mine it's help it's, it's, it helps a lot in a way you know and i see nobody making it so i did i mean you can take the idea and can execute in your way you can do whatever the fuck you want uh, and thanks for watching. I doubt barely any dude is watching till at the end because it's just something. But if you are watching, then you are amazing. And don't forget to let me know that you are watching. I will see you in the next video with something new. Um, good night. Good luck. That's what everything. Bye.